Do you have huge dreams for your life, but just don't even know where to get started on a day-to-day -day level? Well, this video is for you. I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my vision binder, which will make your days and your life 10 times more productive and will help you achieve your dreams. Sarah here from Work Life Glue. If you have followed us for any length of time, you know we are kind of obsessed with self-development and productivity, and we are just so committed to helping others create a life worth living, to create a life where you can reach your dreams, and we are working on ours as well, and YouTube is a big part of that. But I wanted to share with you guys what I have used and created for myself that I wanna share with you guys Using so many of the books I've read, so much of the research I have done on productivity and basically dream crushing um, in a positive way, and how I've compiled that into one vision binder. And I just think it is so powerful, so impactful in my life, and so functional that I want to share it with you guys. Now this may, I guess, seem pretty similar now that I'm thinking about it to the Power Sheets by Laura Casey. If you use those, great. Um, I have tried them in the past. I think they are amazing. Uh, but I just like to go to the beat of my own drum and I wanted to do something that works for me using my own resources and using what I have learned and I want to share it with you guys today. It's super easy to make, free to do, and I want to share with you with you today. So before I jump into what my vision binder is and what it looks like, I wanted to explain to you guys where I have even come up with the ideas that I have for this and it's been over a few years of reading amazing books using the Miracle Morning so um, I would encourage you guys to at least look into a couple of these if you haven't already because I don't think this will be as powerful of a binder for you if you don't have the information to back it up and you don't have the motivation from having the information because information is power and so a lot of books i have read have given me the ideas that i've used to implement and create this binder so one of them is the miracle morning by hal alrod i'll have links to them in the description if you guys don't already have these books or haven't read them before or haven't heard of them so miracle morning is definitely the first one that's where i do a lot of the stuff that's in the binder i look over it and stuff like that um, also, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson changed my life. I think it's an amazing book. And piggybacking off of that is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. It's very similar to The Slight Edge, but it has kind of a resource and tool that's um, in my binder that I will talk about called the Rhythm Register for tracking those daily habits that the, both of those books talk about. Another huge one is The 12 Week Year by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lennington. That is one I've recently read. I learned about from Gia on Marriage and Motherhood. She's actually going through on her channel and having check-in times and stuff for the 12 week year. So I'd encourage you to check that out as well. But this is the binder I'm using to help me reach those 12 week goals. Um, so that's one thing I also am using for this. And then um, I couldn't not mention The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. I just think that one really inspired me and you can see influences of that in my binder as well. And then the last one that I can really think of that inspired this is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I'm not all about money, but I think it is a really great book for talking about the power of the mind and daily habits and how you can influence your life based on your thoughts and how you can sway your thoughts to lead certain ways and I'm using this binder in that way. So guys, let's take a look at my binder and I'll kind of talk to you about why I'm doing the things I'm doing and how you can create one for yourself. Okay guys, so this is my vision binder and when you first open it up, and like I said, it's just, it's just a binder. Um, I love these from Staples, but you can use any binder. So when you open it up, I usually leave it sitting out like this because I have my rhythm register on the front. And what is a rhythm register? Well, it's from the book, The Compound Effect, and it's basically a way to track progress on your goals. Now I've taken that idea along with the 12 week here and broken up my rhythm register by goal and what I'm gonna do for my goal every day or you know a certain amount of times a week and then I have the days across the top I have what I'm gonna do for each goal and um, what my goal is like for example work out two times a week I will put goal two because I want to work out two times a week 
and then actual so at the end of the week I'll sit down and if I only worked out one time that week I'll put one there and then my score so that would be um, I guess like 50% I would put here and the goal if you've read the 12 week year is to try to I mean you're trying to hit a hundred percent but if you hit about 80% of your daily tasks then you're on track to reach your goal so let me just break this down. I actually also took inspiration from Ashley's Green Life. I'll link her video about her rhythm register. That's where I even learned about it. And then I read um, the 12 week year and the compound effect to create this. So for example, my first goal is to create long lasting healthy routines for my mind and body. So I went through and I wrote down the things I'm gonna try to do um, to reach that goal. So work out two times a week, drink a smoothie for breakfast, eat salad for lunch, drink three bottles full of water, those are like for my body, and then complete my five minute journal, pray for five minutes, do my devotional, read 10 pages of a good book, and listen to a motivating song in the morning, that's more for my mind. And so I will track this throughout the week and I will set how many I wanna do of these, most of them seven days a week, and then I will score myself. For another goal is to grow our YouTube channel. Um, I don't really have a specific amount I want to grow, I just want to grow it. So I wanna post three videos a week, share the channel on Facebook groups, post on Instagram three times a week um, related to my content, and then edit three videos a week. So I'll keep track of that. And then we have one other goal that I'm not gonna share. Some of this stuff is personal, you guys, so I'm not gonna share every single thing. Um, but that is how I set up my rhythm register. And I have printed out 12 of these that I'll show you um, how I'm gonna analyze these as well. And then every week I just take out one of the 12, put it on here, track and then I'll go through every week and do an analysis which I will show you um, but this is amazing it's a lot like the power sheets it's just a different method of doing it and I just create on myself so that's what I do for that and I just put it on the front so I can keep track of it then after that I have my vision board now I have made my own vision board which you guys can see in my miracle morning video but I just thought it's not very practical to have to pull out this giant tag board and I don't really want to hang it up in my house. Um, so this binder I look at every day during my miracle morning. So I look at my vision binder and I use Photoshop to make these. You could use PicMonkey or Canva or anything like that. I just found images online and put them on one page, printed them out and there you go. So I have a travel and lifestyle goals and this is just to help me visualize my dream. So that's that. Then I have our family giving spiritual goals. Um, I didn't write them out. I just, I know what they are and they are in visual form. I do have them written out later, which you will see. And then I also have business and financial goals. So that's on here. So very easy to do. I would highly encourage you guys to do that. So after that, I have my 12 week year section. So that's where I pulled out this sheet, this will go back in here after the week is complete. But then at the end of every week, I will go through and analyze my goals. So for each goal, I have a different analysis section and this will just depend on what your goals are. So for example, for my goal about um, creating long lasting healthy routines, I have what's my current weight, what's my energy level, how do I feel, what helped me complete these tactics during the week, what kept me from completing these tactics and what can I do to improve next week. So just trying to, you know, figure out what worked, what didn't work and change that for the next week. And then for our YouTube goal, I have um, my subscriber count, monthly revenue, average watch time, number of views. Did any new ideas come to me this week of things I could do? Just record it so I don't forget. And then what could I do um, in future 12 week years to improve upon this goal and then what's something I learned from this analysis and then I have one for my third goal that I'm not going to talk about but basically you just make um, a little thing to track your progress and so every week I can look back and see has my subscriber count grown has my weight dropped um, and I can actually see my progress that's a huge part of goal setting and achieving your goals is seeing if you're making progress and tweaking things as you go so that's what I do for that then I have a section for long-term goals. So I think it's really important to have long-term goals. And we broke this down by category of our life, different aspects of our life. And I did this for my husband and myself. We sat down and did this. So we have like our physical goals, weight, what we'll look like, how we'll feel, spiritual goals, relational goals for our marriage and our kids, 
financial goals, professional goals, and just like personal goals. And it's really important to look at those. I try to look at those during my miracle morning so I can remember and see if I'm making any progress on those. But all of these go along hand in hand with those 12 week goals. As I'm working on those, as I'm creating new 12 week year goals, I'm looking at these things and asking myself, how could I be mortgage free? What could I do to make more money? Or how could I, you know, spend less? Maybe I'll have a no spend 12 week year or something like that. It's just trying to reach these goals in 12 week chunks. And I, if you haven't read that book, I would highly recommend it. Next we have our uh, three to 10 year goals. I'm not gonna show them, but basically we broke down what do we want our life to look like in three years, in five years, and in 10 years. So they're breaking down those long-term goals into time increments and what that will look like. And then I have a section for 12 week year ideas. So as I complete one 12 week year, I will write down ideas for other ones. So other things I wanna do for the 12 week year, I like to write them down because it's not likely that I will remember if I have an idea in week one. It's not likely I'll remember it in week 12 when it's time to set new goals. So I write them down here. I also put a reading list in here. So I recently ordered a bunch of books that I want to read. So I put them here. And then as I read them, I will put them over here because I don't often actually keep track of what I read. And I really want to read a lot this year. So this will help me see if I'm making progress and gives me ideas of things that I want to read because I often will see a new book and just grab it and start reading it when there's a whole list of other books that I want to read. Then I have a section with my affirmations. I say these every morning during my miracle morning. I made them rainbow because I think it's beautiful and motivating and um, these have been super powerful in my life. Um, not only do I think they actually work, but I also, it just makes me feel good and sets up my day in a positive way. So I'd highly recommend you do that as well. And that is basically it. But this few sections has a lot of power for my day, for my life. Um, and that is my vision binder. So now that you guys have seen the binder, I just kind of want to talk to you about how I use it in a practical way. Um, so every morning, like I said, I look over the things I need to do. I check them off as I do them. A lot of these things I do during my miracle morning. Um, and throughout the day, I will check things off on here. I look at this stuff during my miracle morning. I, um, what else do I do? I look at my goals that are in here and then I say my affirmations. So I'm using these every morning for that. Uh, on a weekly basis, I will go through and do my analysis. So usually on a Sunday, I will sit down and do that so I know if I'm making progress. And then um, quarterly, basically, I will go through and see how I did and score myself overall on my goal and set new goals. So it's a very functional daily, weekly, quarterly binder that I'm using all the time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's something I've been dreaming of doing for quite a while and I'm just on fire to get this out to you guys. I want to know if you're going to create your own vision binder. It doesn't need to look like mine. Um, make it work for you but I just think life is too short to not chase your dreams. I'm a Christian and I think God puts these dreams in our hearts to change the world to make it a better place and that starts small. Um, and if we can all make positive choices and make positive dreams come true, it makes the world a better place, not just for us, but for everyone. So I would love to know what you guys are doing to help further your success and leave them in the comments. If you have other ideas for videos like this, if there's more you want to know, more videos like this, please like this video. And if you have ideas, leave them in the comments. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.